football team. Hey Bearcats, welcome to the Travis O'Neill Memorial Tournament brought to you by Flag Football Philippines in cooperation with International School Manila. There are 10 teams here at school participating in the all-day tournament. All of the proceeds uh, of this tournament will go towards the O'Neill family. Let's go check it out. Can you tell the fine viewers your name and what grade you're in? Uh, Lewis Senior in 10th grade. So how did you find out about this tournament and uh, how did you, how were you able to participate? Um, well, my stepdad used to play basketball with the, one of the head coaches and I came out last Sunday to play with them and just asked if I could join and they said sure. So how excited are you to participate in today's event? Uh, Pretty excited, really, because back in the States, I played for about five years, mm -hmm. really, so. So, how does it feel uh, to play in Manila compared to in the States? It's a lot hotter, a lot yeah. humid, but the uh, clouds are out today, so it's a lot better. How does it feel to be the only student on the team? Um, pretty special, actually, because I'm, like, the youngest and smallest one here, pretty much. How well do you think you guys will play today? Um, pretty good. Our team looks pretty solid, so, yeah. I think we're doing good today. We we're the uh, untouchables and we're a pretty solid team. So yeah. Thank you. Hello sir, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, son. So can you please just introduce yourself and uh, your role in this, this uh, event today? Okay, well my name is Rafi Puno and uh, I play for the untouchables which is a flag football team and uh, we are composed of mostly ISM parents and uh, faculty. And we are hosting this tournament here um, on the ISM campus. Um, the uh, administration of ISM has graciously allowed us to use the field to put on this tournament uh, in memory of our teammate Travis O'Neill. So, how is this event, uh, besides the fact that it's an ISM, how is this event different from any other flag football event you've participated in the past? Well, typically the flag football tournaments last about two to three weeks. Um, they're over two to three weekends. So this is a one-day festival, um, which is quite unique. Um, and still we were able to bring out 10 teams because uh, the community is very tight-knit and everybody knew Travis and uh, really respected him and so they wanted to come out and participate. Uh, so that's one way that it's different. So how long did it take to organize the event and given that everyone here is very tight-knit, was it a really quick response from all of the other teams? Um, to put together the tournament, I, I think we worked on it for several weeks. Um, we thought about it a couple months ago, but we really only started planning it maybe two or three weeks ago. And um, it wasn't all that difficult to put together. Everyone was really willing to participate. Yeah. So what, uh, what does this event, what memories of Travis does this event bring back to you? Wow. Um, well, Travis... Um, was a gentle giant. Um, he in, in person, I think everyone can attest to just what a great guy he was, um, how friendly he was, uh, how approachable he was, and, and how wonderful of a teacher he was. But on the field, um, he, was, he was a beast, and he, he, he left it all out on the field, and that's what we hope to do today in his memory. That's good. So there are a lot of people here that may not have known him personally, so after this event, what would you like them to take away from it? Uh, well, I just like them to remember Travis as uh, a warrior and a champion. And uh, uh, he was a champion on the field and he was a champion in life as well. Thank you very much, sir. It's a pleasure. I'm Coach Joseph Paglion. I'm uh, the founder and president of uh, Flag Football Philippines. So uh, I've been playing flag football since, uh, since 1999. And, uh, Basically, I set up uh, Flag Football Philippines um, as, a, as a Division B league or a developmental league for guys that, you know, wanted to play the sport that I've been really, really passionate about for all these years, right? So, the, the, you know, I started in 2005. I started coaching in 2001, uh, but I started something more structured in 2005 because I needed a, a, a pure grassroots program to, to grow the sport all over the Philippines. 
And uh, one way for me to be able to do that is uh, for me to structure, uh, you know, one is a, a continuous education program for, for flag football, uh, continuous clinics, and, uh, and to be able to present, uh, you know, the community, the growing community with a very, very competitive, fun and competitive league that they can, you know, show whatever they've learned um, in the clinics or in the, during the pickup games during the week. So um, it's, it's been running for so many years and, uh, you know, we've, we've seen flag football grow pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how does it feel, uh, how is this event different from any other event that you've organized before in the past? Well, it's, it's, it's a very special uh, tournament today because um, this is, um, uh, well, it's called uh, the Flag Football Philippines Travis O'Neill Flag Football Memorial Festival. So it's the, you know, it's, it's something uh, of close to our heart. It, it's, uh, it's a way for our community to, to give back to um, um, the guys in the community that needs most help. So one of the players from the Untouchables and apparently I think uh, an IS uh, faculty, right? Uh, you know, pretty much uh, had an accident and left his family, pretty much uh, new family, you know, uh, unsupported. So uh, best way for us to be able to, to give back to a guy that's been passionate with the sport again is for, for FFP to actually, um, you know, set up something special for him which I think he'll be, you know, he'll be loving from up above, you know. So this this tournament is uh, an all proceeds uh, tournament going to the family of uh, Travis O'Neill. Football was very important to him. He was the captain of his college team. And as a lesson, he brought his championship ring into class to teach us about how important teamwork is. He was a great teacher. So uh, there are a lot of people here that may not know him. So what would you like other people uh, to know about Mr. O'Neill? He was very hardworking, and uh, he was always helping, always nice. Whenever you saw him in the hallways, he would always ask you how you were and uh, what was going on with your life. Thank you, sir. Hello. Thank you for being a part of the video. So please introduce yourself and your team. Hi, I'm Annie Markovich. I'm on The Untouchables. And I am Chris Ann Rosup, and I am also on The Untouchables. So I know you guys have played in a bunch of flag football tournaments before, so how does it feel to finally play in a tournament at ISM? Oh, it's great to be here. Uh, it's great facilities, and it's great to have lots of people from the community out to support us. It's kind of fun to play here. Yeah, no, I'm very excited to be here at ISM. Um, it's fun to kind of be hosting the tournament finally and having everybody come here to our, our home turf to play, so it's exciting to, to be on a home advantage. So playing with the Untouchables again, what memories of Mr. O'Neill uh, comes back to you for playing flag football again? Uh, last time I played was the uh, tournament we played in with him, and uh, he was just a, a huge force on our team, and I think he's kind of here with us still, just watching out for us and all that kind of stuff, so it's good. Good Officials memories. For center field yeah. will be Yeager. Um, I think playing Round here at home course, really brings you guys are going to be playing his, his spirit and memory here three. even more than when that we play elsewhere. But every time I step on this field, I think of him. We wear him on our shirts. And our cheer today is 1-2-3 Travis because this is all for him. And I think our team, every time we play, regardless of where we are, we play for him. So uh, there are a lot of teams here, 10 teams here, that may not have known him personally, but what would you like them to, you know, to take out of this uh, tournament experience? Um, I think just uh, he was an amazing football player, but more importantly, he was an amazing man, and we're really happy to uh, be able to do this in memory of him. Yeah, I mean, I hope that they realize that we're here for charity. Everybody gets really competitive and um, <laughs> heated up sometimes on the field, and I think anyone who did know him knows that he, his, his poise and um, the way he carried himself on the field was always a champion regardless of whether we win or lose. Um, and I think we try and bring that out for, for our players as well. And hopefully how we play respectfully, the other teams will take that away and play respectfully also. Well, congrats on the win. Good luck in your next game. Thank you very much.